She seems okay to me. Agreed, though I do sense a certain reticence in her manner. And she looks shy. Ugh, that too. Ginny wants to be my friend, but all the kids think she's kind of weird. They call her Skinny Ginny. Why don't you spend some time with her? Find out what kind of person she is. I hate to intervene, but we really should get started. I hereby declare this meeting of the Secret Millionaires Club open. And I've got new business. The School Investment Club has asked us to advise them on where to invest their money. That's exciting. What have you decided? Well, I've decided that I might sit next to Ginny at lunch tomorrow. That's nice, Elena. But I was referring to the investment club. Oh, we decided that the Myron Mattress Factory might be a good choice. They consistently produce a good product at a reasonable price. Their financial health seems optimum. And they've been in business for over 20 years. Those are very good reasons. But what else have you done to research the company? Um, what do you mean? Well, you want to get to know a company before you decide to invest in them. You might want to become familiar with management. Take a look at their factory. Check out their equipment. Maybe talk to their employees and customers. I get it. We'd better give them the once over. I think it's a wise decision to get to know someone better. Then I'll arrange a tour of the factory. Good idea, Radley. But I was referring to Elena's decision to sit next to Ginny at lunch. How did your research go? It was eye-opening. First of all, we discovered that the Myron Mattress Factory is rather poorly managed. And it was even sloppier than my bedroom. She speaks French. Wait a minute. Who speaks French? Ginny does. And she's lived in Israel, and she writes really cool songs. Sorry, Elena. I was looking at the Myron Mattress Report. We discovered that all the employees are disgruntled because Mr. Myron treats them so badly. And they have a lot of customer complaints, too. Sounds like a really cool person. Mr. Myron? He was like the villain of a science fiction horror story. I was talking about Ginny. I think we're going to be very good friends. I think we're going to look somewhere else to invest. I think you've all made informed decisions, and I'm proud of you. Remember, with businesses like with people, you should get to know them before you judge them. And now, here's words from Warren. Hey kids, Warren Buffett here. Managers of a good business will go out of their way to get to know their customer before they introduce something new. They never prejudge and assume their customers will like a new product or service. It's important not to prejudge people in your life too. You want to make sure that you get to know someone before you make a judgment about a person. Jumping to conclusions about someone because of how they look or by what others are saying is not a good idea. So remember, don't prejudge. This many times leads to a lack of good judgment. The best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you'll earn.